Hello everyone! There is a way to make files in Microsoft Teams read only for members, so long as you are the owner of that Microsoft team. This feature has many applications, so let's learn how to turn channels, folders, and specific files into read only assets for members in Microsoft Teams. For you to be able to do this, you're going to need to be an owner of the Microsoft team you want to apply this to, or you're going to need to be the owner of the shared or private channel that you can also do this within. To make channel files read only for members of the Microsoft team, while you're in that specific channel's files, start by clicking on the details button where you want to change the permissions. So because I'm within the general channels root folder, I'm accessing the details of the entire general channels files folder. From here, select this groups icon. And from the pop-up, choose groups. Here are the different groups of people with access to the general channel files. Members of the Microsoft team are within this group here, and we can see that they have edit access. To change this, select the can edit option, and we can see a list of things that we can change the permissions to. We can leave them as can edit to can view and download files, or can view and can't download. You can also remove their access entirely if you don't want members to be able to access the general channel's files or this channel's files. But in that case, you would likely just create a private channel. Once you've made your choice, choose apply and then select exit. Now the members only have read access on the entire general channel's files. You're also able to affect individual folders and files within a channel. So I can enable the presentations folder here and modify the permissions of just that folder, or even just a single file if I wanted to. The process is the same for each. You just need to enable or be within the folder or item you want to modify the permissions of, access the details pane, then groups to flip the permissions. We can see here I would be affecting the permissions of the presentations folder only. So this works for files, folders, and channels, but know that if you want to do this for a private channel or a shared channel, those channel types have their own owner and membership roles. So you can be an owner of a team, but not necessarily be an owner of a shared or private channel. So that's how you change the permissions of Microsoft Teams channel files and folders files on an individual basis. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you have any questions, ask them down below. And don't forget to check out our guides linked in the description down below as well.